How do you translate a Hoffal? Answer. Since the Hoffal is the passive of the Hiphiel, whatever the verb means in the Hiphiel, make it passive. Now this is a little tricky. This is a little tricky. Let's take a verb in the uh, let's take a verb like natsal. Have we had natsal? All right. What does natsal mean in the cow? Nothing. What does it mean in the hip field? Rescue. All right. So what does it mean in the hafal? Be rescued. All right. This is pretty easy. All right. Now, actually, this is unusual because we're using a verb that sort of has its home base, if you will, its basic meaning in the hip field. What about a verb like, let's use our paradigm verb, katal, right? Which in the kal means to kill, right? In the hip field means what? Cause X to kill Y, all right? Now. Do you see the point? Here we have a transitive verb in the cow with one direct object. When that verb goes into the hip field, it can have two direct objects, right? You cause X to kill Y. When we make it passive in the Hoff file, which is what we're looking at now, what goes passive? Direct object one or direct object two? The answer is that which is distinctively hip field, because the hafal is the passive of the hip field. And what is distinctively hip field is the causative nature of the H conjugation, hip field hafal. So it's the causative idea that's going to be put into the passive in the hafal. That means this is the direct object that's going to become the subject of the sentence and be passive in the Hoffal. So the translation is not, he caused X to kill Y. The king caused his servant to kill his enemy. But it will be X was caused. See how the passive of the causative is operative here? X was caused to kill Y. Get it? The king, here's the hip feel. The king <coughs> caused his servant to kill his enemy. What's the passive sentence of that, the Hoffal sentence? The king caused his servant to kill the enemy. His servant was caused to kill the enemy. Now the servant becomes the subject and receives the action of being caused to do something. Does that make sense? It's a little tricky, it's a little goofy, it's a little complicated, but um, it actually makes some sense if you think about it. Uh, the bottom line, of course, is that now we have a passive conjugation where you have one direct object. You can still have a direct object in the Hoffal, even though it's passive but only if you had two in the hip field. Think about that. All right, that's how to translate the Hoffal. Let's go back to the forms. We did the perfect, oops, let's do the imperfect. Anybody want to just take a wild stab? A wild stab. At the imperfect. This is all.